uh, how much actually ends up getting stored if I'm looking at my emails or instead of the other? We pull everything down and it's cached on the device. So you can okay. operate everything pretty much in the exact same manner when you don't have a connection. Okay. And then at what point will it, and then it'll inform me when I've run out of information or if I click a link that it can't fetch? Yeah, if it basically will the fail it will be just as you would expect if you've got a failure in the browser, for example. Okay. Um, the works a little bit different depending upon which of the internet services that you're actually connecting to. So okay. Google and Facebook and et cetera have slightly different things that their APIs do. Launch. The only way to do that would be to bring the launcher up again and tapping on it. Well, that's not good enough. People today want to be able to manage multiple activity in an efficient way. Right? People do that on the desktop. Typically, you have this concept of windows which are lying on top of each other like sheets of paper. So we needed to figure out a metaphor for mobile. And what we came up with is a deck of cards. So whatever application you may be in, if I press this center button, it will take me to what we call the card view. Every application that you have opened is available in this view like a card and they're arranged in the order in which they were launched or the last one that is launched will be on the right hand side. I can click through them and then if I touch any of them, it will take me to it. Very, very soon. In Google Talk conversations with Elisa, let's say she goes offline. She shut down her computer or her phone is off or whatever it is. I can just go to the top right here and it will bring up uh, her phone number. I can just select the phone number and now I can just send an SMS rather than as much as you want we don't delete anything also syncing other folders not just inbox if I tap here it will expand the list of folders and I can go into those folders as well but a lot of people on mobile devices they mostly care about their inbox so we are focused on that and try to keep the interface very very clean not only do I have individual inboxes for uh, the two accounts, but I also have a combined inbox. A lot of people like to work that way. You know, it doesn't matter where the email is coming from as long as I can just quickly hit reply and I can see what the new messages are. So let's click on all my inboxes. So I see all the emails that have come in. Time.com daily news looks on the pre. It lays out the HTML just like you expect from the desktop. And in order to read it, you can double tap it and it will zoom in and you're able to read it. All the links are live, so you can pretty much work with this email. You can use it to get information rather than just saying, oh, it's a newsletter, I'll deal with it on my desktop. Text first. So in this list, I'm seeing um, several of my contacts. And if you notice on the right-hand side, there are multiple pictures stacked on top of each other, in, at least in some of the cases. This means that this contact has been linked from multiple sources. So if you tap on Sophia, um, you see uh, multiple pictures of her on the right hand side and you see this number three. This indicates that she's been linked together from three different sources. So if I tap on this picture, I will see what those sources are. Google, Exchange and Facebook. So I have Sophia in those three places, we, we sync live with those places and uh, when we bring the information down, we merge it together, not the data, but just the view, and present a single view to you. If I go to calendar, very similar idea. We are bringing in calendar information from several places like Exchange, Facebook, and Google, and we are putting it in one view. So here you're seeing several meetings on my calendar, and they're color-coded dependent on uh, what is the source. So these are my work meetings, the ones in blue, as you can see, are, uh, are my uh, Google uh, meetings, and then we also have Facebook events in there. But sometimes it can get a bit overwhelming, right? This is a very, very crowded view, too much going on. Let's say I only want to focus on what my work meetings are, then I can tap on the top right and select what calendar I want to look at. I only want to look at my Palm work calendar, and as soon as I do that, everything else disappears, and I only see that calendar.